Roxy Flasco Fabric Clubs. Yeah, <laughs> so we have been talking about this for a long time. Yep. And uh, I just wasn't secure enough with the um, supply chain. With the supply chain, I just wasn't. Um, I am now. Mm hmm. Post pandemic, I know that sounds ridiculous that we're a couple years it's out. It's not now, ridiculous. It's taken this long to to get things yeah, really it, securely back in place. Yeah, right? I think Swigard is under control. Um, knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm feeling confident. Okay. Yeah. So, to that end, welcome to the Evertote <laughs> online shop, the very fabulous Roxy Flosco Fabric uh. Clubs. Thank you. We're gonna have two options for you, and Hannah has done all of the work, all of the usual. math. <laughs> She's done all the work, all the math. We have everything loaded in the shop, ready to go live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard today, Wednesday, August 22nd, 2024. Now there are there's a cap on what Carrie there can is. die. Yeah. Um, uh, you know what? I'm also gonna just inject yeah. here because we, I think when we first mentioned this, whatever two weeks oh, ago. Oh yes. Um, the game plan was to re release it on September 1st. Yes. But I had a bit of a brain fart and I <laughs> scheduled vacation on s September 1st to the 9th. So it's just... And I said, um, so when are you going to dye all that linen? <laughs> so we had to like jiggle things around. Well, and, and the thing is, is that Carrie can prep ahead of time because these are going to be you know, you, you're not quite sure what you're going to get, right? Carrie's going to dye something gorgeous and that's yeah. going to be the, the fabric of the month every other month. So I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but being that this is our first month out of the gate, we have no idea no. what you want. <laughs> so she can't just dye a hundred yards of fabric, uh, willy nilly. And then we Think, don't, Oh, that was a big faux pas. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe, you know, maybe, 40 of you don't want 46 count yeah. subscription. So that's actually, that's why we're pulling it a little earlier yeah. um, so that Carrie's got a little bit more time to prepare and that we've got the numbers correct. Whereas moving into the next shipment, which will be in November because it's every other month, um, we'll, because the subscriptions will be loaded in, you'll know what our, oh, what, no. what numbers are. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So what Hannah did, and this was the smartest thing I think I've ever seen her do, and she's pretty darn smart, but this she's a clever one. really impressed me. She took the numbers from our holiday countdown box sales. Yeah, and did like ratios? And, and she, did, she did the wow. breakdown of what our customers purchased and what the ratios were for each count, and then she did Hocus pocus, yep. made the math work, and did the same ratios for offering for the linen club. So we have a little bit of flexibility. If we notice that one count is completely gone in five minutes, we can adjust the numbers as we go a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, Carrie doesn't have a hundred yards of forty count to play with, so yeah. we we do need to spread it out across the across the the board. But um, Hannah's cleverness. Is allowing us a really good starting point. Uh, yeah, that was really brilliant. Actually. I know, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, yeah. So that is, um, those are our numbers. We have uh, Carrie can die in the amount of time mm -hmm. uh, for that we can dedicate that she can dedicate to this club is 100 yards of fabric total. So there will be 400 clubs max. Yeah. Um, and we, we might be able to massage that. I just wanted. We that are not going to make those promises now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start with 400 We're clubs. Gonna We're going to give that a really good chance yeah. and see how it goes. And then we'll see what the future will bring. <laughs> Carrie oh, is, on. you know, the one thing I love about this woman <laughs> is that she is always all in. 110%. All in. I'm like, you want to do a fabric? Yeah, let's do a fabric club. How many? Yeah. I can do a hundred yards. And she, she can. Yeah. But we'd like her to be able to walk the next day. So, yeah. you know. We'll have egg on our face and we'll call it 12. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. It's like, okay. <laughs> you have two yards of linen to die. Uh, all right. So let me tell you a few of the rules. And basically, I'm just going to give you brief notes here on all of the work that Hannah's done. 
I am going to copy and paste what is on our website in the description box below. So please read it. Please um, read all about the fabric clubs on the website. Um, Hannah is also sending out a newsletter that's going to have this exact information that I'm giving you now. It's in the newsletter. So if I skip over anything or you don't remember it, go to the print version and have a look at it because there are some really important things to remember about the clubs. These are questions that we get on our clubs all the time. So um, we've got the answers for you right here. <laughs> uh, okay, so just like our current floss club, the billing cycle happens on the 15th of the month. So floss club is every month. So every 15th of the month, um, if you have an active subscription, your credit card is charged, and then Julie and Emma are actually super fast. And as long as Carrie has the club done, they are shipping out clubs. Like, you know, technically, we're not we're not really advertising that we're not shipping them till the last week of the month. But generally, Julie and Emma are a little quicker than that and are getting them out shortly after the fifteenth. But we like to have that little bit of wiggle room there in case we have something else going on in the shop, Just super busy, you know, whatever. Um, so because the linen clubs are gonna be every other month, you're gonna see that billing happen every alternate month. So first one, even if you sign up now, technically you have until the 15th of September to make that purchase to join the clubs. <clears throat> Anything that is purchased after the 15th of the month, you don't get into that club. You're effectively into the next club. So even if you purchased it on September September 16th, mm -hmm. you wouldn't get a club until November's fabric club shipped. So that's where, that's where sometimes the confusion comes in. A customer yeah. will purchase a floss club subscription on let's say the 19th of the month and then they actually won't receive any floss for like six weeks and they're wondering where their, where their club is. Well, the thing is that they've missed the cutoff for the payment. So if you wanna join into a floss club or a linen club, you have to catch it before the 15th of the month. Um, so what else? Um, so it's every other month, so we've got September, November, January, March, May, July, September, etc. So every other month. I think we've got two options for timelines. There's a six month subscription okay. or a one year subscription. So that's either gonna give you three or six. Um, there are two types of mm -hmm. clubs. We have the traditional. Yes. Which are going to be uh, neutral ask shades of brown <laughs> <laughs> or gray or gray so it's very sampler Beige. sampler traditional friendly fabric so examples of fabrics that are currently in our collection yeah. speculas pantone uh biscuit, biscuit yeah some of the more darker ones might be french hen rustic yeah. pistachio those sort of um dark but oh porcelain Yep, we have, right. Dirty porcelain. Porcelain yeah. and dirty porcelain, you know. So colors that are like that, that are very usable across the board, you know, yeah. for tr more traditional style sampler type stitching. And I w I'm going to put it out there that they could be very um, low key or they could be quite modeled. modeled. I'm not going to commit to saying, oh, these are all good. I, I, I'm using Linen Club as kind of letting my creative side rear its head. Right. <laughs> so if you don't love, well, even if you don't like a modeled neutral, and when you oh, say a modeled neutral, I, I mean like, I don't know. Can you show them your scroll? Oh yeah. That, I mean, it wouldn't be anything more drastic than that. Okay, so this is, this was a more modeled piece of biscuit that I had. You can see the modeling there. So that would probably be the extreme, I would think. Okay. 
Now, French hen also can be quite mottled. It is, right? but it's a little bit darker anyway, so right. I wouldn't say that it's yeah. more mottled. It's just because it's darker, right. so it seems more. So that's kind of what you can expect from the traditional fabrics. Yeah. Um, now, the modern clubs. So Oh, we're going to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie's going to have some fun with the modern fabrics, but they're also going to be usable usable um there's a there's a time and there's a place for opalescent sparkly fabrics and i you know they're they're wonderful in their own right for yeah. particular projects that you're looking for but those will not be what we're going here no, at for. this time so, i don't carry opalescent yeah. so we actually september's club for moderns is we're gonna we're gonna actually show it to you now yeah. <laughs> so that because this one was kind of one that's hard to describe what you're going to get. Examples in our shop that we would classify as modern. Yeah. Mo you know, I hesitate to use the word brights because what you've got there, what we're going to show you, I wouldn't say that that's slap you in the face bright, no. but it's a modern color. Uh, so, for example, if you know our, our linens quite well, uh, where did we where did we go here? I don't know if it's on there, but it would be it's things not like um, pub crawl, yeah, candy apple, candy apple pub crawl, smooth sailing, smooth that sailing. dark navy color. You know, linens that you typically wouldn't stitch a sampler on. Yeah, this is probably the the best way to think about it. So, yeah. if you don't, if you if you know that you want to purchase the uh, the modern club for September and you would like it to be a surprise, now's the time to click goodbye and uh, yeah not watch any further because we're actually going to show you carrie's going to show you what she's been working on yeah. this is the color that is going to be used for the very first um modern mm -hmm. cup. i'm also going to try to um keep with the seasons so when i created this modern club i was thinking more um spooky stitchers or autumnal sorry it's okay um that would be the silent bell button. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to keep it into that theme. So maybe in November you might expect more uh, things that could be used for winter samplers or winter uh, pieces. Winter stitching. Yeah, yeah, winter stitching. Okay. Okay. You ready? ready? Here you go. Last okay. chance to say goodbye. What? Oh. Here, okay. let's double it up to. So I'm hoping this is going to show true color because it's looking a little vibrant it looks a little more vibrant than it actually is yeah. this is if pink and orange got together in the bathtub which is what they did <laughs> <laughs> pretty much this is what you would get yeah so this is that's that's pretty that is pretty pretty good it's gorgeous Thanks, I'm very happy with it. So, I think so you can see the level of modeling there. So I think that might be, oh, the tag's right on it. So that's a 36 count. Yeah. And, then, and the different counts are gonna take the dye differently. Yeah. So there might be various, you know, shade differences. So this is it on a 40, it's a little bit lighter, but not overly it's pretty accurate really yeah let me hold it back so this so. is this is september's modern club so there you go so are we just getting unsubscribes from the club now <laughs> <laughs> i think this is gorgeous when you showed this to me i i love it it's a different um like i can see monochromatic stitching on it I can see even, you know, if, if there are people who don't love red, red, reds. Right. This is more of a pink, it, it's a pink yeah, orange. Yeah, it's kind know? of like a, um, a burnt orange brick. I see a little bit of lilac in there. Yeah. A little bit of rose, dusty yeah. rose. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's Thank beautiful. You. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Thanks. Yeah, you're... Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, so I think uh, the only thing I haven't talked about is 
Um, one co very common question is combined shipping because if you are also a member of our floss club and our linen club, um, obviously you don't want to pay uh, extra shipping on all of that if you're in both. Um, Emma and Julie downstairs are very good at trying to catch orders, put them together and ship them together when they do that. So even though you are paying postage both times, they will combine ship and refund postage overages. Uh, generally though, um, if you're in a floss club where you're only getting like, if you're getting a five pack, like the neutrals only, mm -hmm. you're only paying letter mail. And if we have to add linen to that, we have to bump you up to the next shipping rate. So there might not be as much of a postage refund as you're expecting, because at that point you're bumped up. You're, we can't send it letter mail anymore. It has to go thick package. And it also includes tracking, whereas letter mail does not include tracking. So that's why I say overages will be refunded. We can't just refund you the entire price of one of the shipping costs mm -hmm. because it might cost us more money than just the what it costs on the one club. But we will combine them and ship them together whenever possible. Um, uh, subscriptions are not automatically renewed. Um, we can do it for you. If you email Hannah once this, once your time is coming up, if you would like to remain in the club, uh, you will have that option mm -hmm. and Hannah will contact you or you can contact us and say that you want to renew it. But if you don't, if we don't hear from you, then uh, your subscription will expire. <laughs> <laughs> what counts are we offering? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> You're just dying willy nilly. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the clubs are a quarter, a quarter of a yard of fabric. So measurements on that for linen are 18 by 26, approximately, usually. You know, we could have a, an eighth of an inch out here or there, plus or minus, due to shrinkage of the yardage. Uh, Ada quarters are 18 by 20 and a half, 20 inches, in between 20 inches and 20. 0.75 and we have you're getting a full wide quarter you're getting a full wide quarter I think we've mentioned this before yes Carrie I, I over, eat the cost yeah. for shrinkage Carrie cuts more um, so that we can provide it provide you with a full quarter um go oh shoot I don't have the the counts here that we have you know what I think I have it do you have the phone we may have uh, did we add something? Uh, yes. Okay. So, so six. Right. Okay. In the traditional clubs, we have 16 count ADA and 20 count ADA. We have 32, 36, and 40 count and 46 count linen. Oh. We don't have 46 okay. count on there yet, but we did add that. Okay. Um, so 32, 36, 40, and 46. We are not offering 28 count in the in the club. So 16 count and 20 count. In the modern clubs, uh, it's the same. 16, 20. I do think we are, we might have 28 in the moderns. I can't I remember. feel like. I think your lower, note is wrong. I think, I feel like the, this was what you I know needed what? to pull. We need, Why don't we, we need Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> okay. Now we're doing there you go. Video. Surprise, it's me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the magic of television. <laughs> yes, this is some movie magic. Uh, Caroline has become me. Uh, so the fabrics that we are offering for the traditional club are 16 count Ada, 20 count Ada, um, 36 count linen, 40 count linen, and 46 count linen. Okay. For the modern, we are offering 16 count Ada, 20 count Ada, 28 count even weave, 32 count linen and 40 count linen. See, this is why we had Hannah. I'm glad we asked her. <laughs> we got it entirely wrong. <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> so yeah, so five, five options for each We don't know stuff about club. stuff. <laughs> um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. For now, those are all we're gonna offer. Mm -hmm. um, but if there's like really popular demand for things that aren't offered, we can revisit it <laughs> down the road. Or increase the numbers. There you go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. That's good. Thank you, Hannah. Fun. Thanks, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Yeah. Could you write that down for me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I can write it down and I can give you um, 
a list of the initial there you go. numbers for the ratio. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. Cool. All right. Thank you, Hannah. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We were not. We were not even close. No. That's why everybody needs a Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this. yeah, she's Flying. the best. Best thing since sliced bread. Fast and loose here. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, linen clubs are live at 5 p.m. today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone for your support, mm -hmm. your enthusiasm for Carrie's beautiful linens, Ada's, even weaves, and flosses. Thank you. Yeah. A lot of fun working here. Mm -hmm. We have a good time. Okay. That's Enjoy. It. Happy stitching, everybody.